decay by joining together single molecules, monomers, to form long chains. Here, the monomer is ethylene, also called ethene. It is composed of two carbon and four hydrogen atoms. When a chemical initiator is added, it splits the double bond between the carbon atoms. The ethylene becomes reactive and attracts and reacts with other ethylene molecules. It is a chain reaction, building up a chain that can be thousands or sometimes millions of units long. Eventually, the reaction terminates, closing off the reactive end. The result is called a polymer. The process... Polymerization. So, polyethylene is made up of long chains that have little or no cross-links between them. The mobility of these chains results in a plastic that becomes soft and pliable upon heating. It is called a thermoplastic, and this important property of softening allows it to be moulded into complex shapes. is a major use for plastics, accounting for 35% of all consumption. Polyethylene is used widely in this role. It arrives in the plant in the form of white pellets, and if desired, colouring may be added. These are heated, and at about 160 degrees Celsius they become soft. The hot, pliable plastic is extruded into a tube, which is lowered into an open mould. The two halves of the mould close, trapping the tube, and compressed air is then blown in. These containers will hold milk. Plastic milk jugs are just one example of the impact of plastics containers. Their increasing use has come about through consumer demand for an economic and easy to use alternative. Different plastics are made by using different monomers. Replace a hydrogen atom with a chlorine and the vinyl chloride monomer is created. This polymerises to polyvinyl chloride or PVC. Alternative substitutions on this site will produce the monomer propene, giving polypropene, styrene to make polystyrene and so on. PVC is transparent and colourless which makes it ideal for bottles when you want to see what's in them. Plastic bottles such as these have a number of advantages over other containers. They are strong and very safe to handle. But perhaps the greatest advantage that plastic containers have is their low weight. Bottles such as these weigh less than a sixth of their glass equivalent. Goods have to be transported and if these lorries were carrying liquids in glass containers, then for each cargo carried, only 57% of that will be product. But with plastic bottles, that figure rises to 93%. This results in a fuel saving of around 40%. The demands made by food packaging are numerous and varied. How do you keep the fizz in pot? Stop biscuits going soggy, or the harmful bacteria getting into meat and dairy products, and the oxidation of edible oils and fats. There are a number of different plastics used, and they all fulfill different roles. Look at the shelves, and you'll see what I mean. We're all wrapped up here in polystyrene. I'm doing the plastic wrap. It's a new sensation. It ain't no lie. It's polymerization. The bottles here keep the gases in, and it ain't no trouble to retain the bubble. It's a special plastic. It's really great, called polyethylene terephthalate. Polyethylene.
gas Retainer, container, the natty little bottle I'm lovingly holding A wonderful piece of modern blow molding It's light, transparent, and cheap to make When you drop it on the floor, it doesn't break The polythene jug is easy to use It pours, reseals, cures a cotton blues Keeps the freshness in with the screw-on cap Get a handle on the polymer app You know